Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. In this video, we're looking at the Winpack software. We are going to add a Pro 42 R2B to a Pro 42 IE1. So the main controller is installed. All we're going to do is add this controller to that. The controller is added on a RS485 loop. If we have a quick look at the PCB, you can see here at the top, you've got a bank of dip switches. This is where you would address the device. If you have a look in the manual that came with it, it shows you how to do it. Um, dip switch one will be address one, dip switch two, address two. In my instance, this will be the second device I'm adding to the loop. So it's dip switch two. You have normal um, reader connections here. Um, pause, negative, data one, data zero on buzzer. That's what I've connected to. That's for reader one, same for reader two. Have a series of inputs and power outputs. Let's just have a quick look at the wiring diagram. So this is the board and the manual you'd expect to see it from. As I say, normal wiring connections for the reader, lock outputs and what have you, nothing particularly special. It, is, it does support OSDP, but I'm doing this as a Wigand. As I mentioned at the bottom there, this is an RS485 controller, so connect your TX and RX pos and neg with a ground. And dip switches, Refer to the manual, it's too many, uh, too many ways of showing the addresses, but I'm using dips, I'm using address two. So that's dip switch one off and switch two on. That sets my device address as two. Okay, let's go over to the Wimpack software and add this controller. So with Wimpack running, we would go to configuration, device and device map find our Pro 42 and configure. Go to the CO boards, add a board. What board is it? Mine's a two reader, I input output, click OK. What's the address? Address two for mine, port six, nothing to worry about there. Readers, reader one is enabled, reader two is enabled. So let's add them to the ADV. Let's change that. I'm going to call it an R15 because I've got an HID R15 reader here. So I'll just know which one it is. Okay to that. We don't use a reader too, so that's okay. What type of reader? Go back to there. What type of reader is it? It's a HID standard format. Everything's fine there. Door interlocks. How long is the relay open for? 10 seconds is too long. I always set it for four or five. So four. Okay. Okay to that. We've added that to the ADV. Click OK. Everything's okay there. ADV is already active. Click OK. So let's go to configuration. Define. Let's define the access area. This is my site and existing readers. Show available devices. The, the available one is the one we just added, R15. So that to the site there and close that. Let's go to configuration and this time define control areas. Show available devices. Let's find a entrance. There's the R15 entrance within this control area. So copy it and drag it across. Close that. And finally, we need to go to access levels and make sure that the R15 is included in your particular access level. I've only got the one, which is ADI Tech. Well, you know, the site might have many. You may need to make sure you add it to the right access group. Uh, right click, configure, uh, set just for everything. Okay. So that now means R15 is part of that access group. Okay, to that, that's mainly, that's it done. All we need to do is just confirm that with the panel. So we go to operations, control map, find our R uh, Pro 42, right click and initialize and just tell the controller what we have. You can actually just put down its uh, the CO board and time and date, but why not do everything while you're here? 
While we're waiting for that, in the meantime, I will go to here and go to events. Okay, so that is the system added. That's the controller now added to the main controller. And if I present my card to this reader, we should see a read. Heard the relay click, valid card used. So the card that I was already enrolled in works. And that is it. That's the controller now added to the Winpack software and we are ready to go. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.